When you're blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. You learn who to trust. You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of the fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen, tap your cane. It's a coffee mug. Right, <laughs> excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. And most importantly, you learn to trust yourself. Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. Listen, I need to do this. Hang out in the cafe for a few hours. I'll be there soon. <sighs> I'm at the door. Wait, don't hang up. Moving out? Or moving in? Nobody's supposed to be here. You're here for a reason. In my dreams, I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Maybe start there? Richard. Happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our tenth year together. New house, new baby on the way. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Felicia. What was that? A memory? Suits her. She glows. She walks around holding her tummy. 
sometimes she just smiles for no reason. I was worried about the solitude of this place, but I think the impending addition is going to be her whole world. Until then, I just need to keep a batch of chocolate chip cookies on hand at all times. It appears cravings aren't just a wives' tale. belongs to St. Joseph's, not to Cassie Thornton. Put it back. But I need the music box to help me fall asleep. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> but I love this song. Okay. for the next girl. Oh, I wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. What brought that back? healing properties but like I used to sleep on my belly before I got pregnant. Now I roll around like a woman possessed. This baby kicks so frantically sometimes. It must be very excited. I hope. in the strangest places around the house. The last one I threw over the side of the cliff because it made me feel dizzy when I touched it. 
But here it is. The same one with the unstitched eye back under our bed. And it's a little soggy. manuals don't prepare you for is that first kick. It feels like you swallowed a big fat goldfish and it's flopping around in your stomach. <laughs> Maybe we'll name her Goldie. in my dreams and I just forgot. What the hell? Who's here? sickness. I left my purse in the car. Yeah, sure. I'll grab him. Jesus.
subjects to speech. Patient, Briar, Felicia. 20 mg Fluxodine, tabs. Instructions, take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Briar. What kind of doctor prescribes to his own wife? New text message from Serge. Hey, about to board. What's up? Not angry, just concerned. Look, I need answers. I just got here and this shit's messed up. I'm onto something. And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. This place feels... different. That... thing was in the garage again. With the baby sitting on my bladder, it took all my self-control not to wet myself. My nerves are shot. I, I need some tea. I'll be out in a bit. Um, just, just leave it on the bar, honey. Thank you. of the world, man or the insect, nature's most persistent creatures representing nine-tenths of all forms of life.
maintain dosage tomorrow. Dose 2. The amipramine has caused vomiting and patient's hysteria has returned. Moving forward with a combination of monoamine, oxidase inhibitors, and tricyclic antidepressants. Okay, Dr. B. What interests you enough to use as a key code? Gotta poke around some. I don't feel so good. The patient is taken to seclusion and doesn't seem to understand her surroundings. This, I think, may be for the best. I will monitor this situation closely before making any more hasty decisions after last time. Still, she needs her medicine and she leaves her pills on her tray each night. She doesn't understand that she needs to get well for herself and for the baby. I must take matters into my own hands for both their sakes. Matters into my own hands? That's not alpha male or anything. To speech. The only star I can really seem to hone in on is IC 2118. A fave, to be sure, but dot the stars are just wrong here. The worst part is that Felicia agrees. I should try 2118 for that key code. Danny? Sleep with us. Just a shot in the dark, but I wonder if that star the good doctor was referring to might be it. What was it again? Fumble keys and sometimes... 
I'm a little slower than before, but you can't keep me prisoner in this house, in this body. I don't want any more pills. text-to-speech. One. Some kind of woman. woman. Somehow, Somehow connected. connected to the tree. Two. Other people. Seemingly unrelated. A 1940s housewife. Could this be Betty? Some man with a mustache? Three. That song. Four. The noises. Five. Misaligned chakras. chakras? Was she having visions too? Everything's fine now. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Sandy's fine. 
Won't you come back and sleep with us, Richard? Daddy. It's from my favorite book growing up, The Princess and the Frog. <laughs> my mom said she always caught me by old stinky ponds and wetlands <laughs> looking for my future husband. But it wasn't about boys. I fell in love with nature. The sort of spirits that bind us. If a gem or an herb could facilitate a divine connection, why couldn't an animal have a beautiful soul? I was called you a killer frog, Felicia. Brushes now this. How does Malachite crack? It's supposed to protect me and the baby. How does a gem inside a silver setting just just shatter like that? to the playroom. Where is it? I don't need the pills anymore, and I don't need you watching my every move. <laughs> Can't you tell? I haven't taken them in days. 